Hi, this is Joe from VideoTutorials.com and this is Andrew and today we're going to teach you how to install Joomla on your server. As you can see we've already uploaded all of our Joomla files to the document root of our web host. And we used a program called FileZilla to do that and we have a link to it on our site so that you can um, easily um, download the program for yourself and see how it works. Now that we have our files uploaded, what we need to do is create a MySQL database. So here in our cPanel we'll do that. We will call it install. And you see that it's created a database called Joomla underscore install. So we will now go to the installer. If you just simply go to your website's domain, it will automatically take you to this installer because Joomla hasn't been properly installed yet. So we'll select English as our language. Hit next. Our settings here look good. It says that display errors are on, but we'll, we can deal with that for right now. We'll agree to the terms of use. Now here's the important part. Our database host is localhost, as it will be for most. Uh, if yours is different, your web service provider should be able to tell you. We'll put in our username. password here. Now you're going to want to write those down because you're going to use them later. And we'll use that database name that we just created, Joomla underscore install. And hit next. Hooray, we made it. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're not going to bother with the FTP right now. We won't really need that for the purposes of our demonstration. Now we want to put a name for this. We'll call it Joomla for Noobs. For Noobs. For email, we will put in info at info at Joomla for Noobs dot com. We'll create a little password. Make sure you remember these passwords. Then we will hit next. Um, we don't want right here. This is an error, or or it is squeak, squawking at you saying, "Do you want to install sample data?" And almost every time the answer is no, because if you install sample data, it's going to give you a lot of files and gobbledygook that you do not want. Okay, we have everything installed and configured now. What will it's telling us right here, we need to remove the installation directory on our website. So if we go to our FileZilla here, this is the folder it wants us to remove. Oh, and we've been disconnected. <laughs> A quick reconnect here. Go back to our document root. We'll find that installation folder and blow that sucker away. Or one thing I like to do sometimes is just simply rename the folder. We'll call it that, and voila. Let's go back to our site here. Go to our web domain. Bam! And there it look is. At that. Joomla for noobs. We are rolling. Rock and roll. 